Dead Frontier 2. Never thought I'd be talking about this on my channel. Anyway, let's get right into the video. How's it going everybody? My name is Armand and welcome back to well, Dead Frontier 2. Quite honestly guys, I'm gonna be real honest here. I didn't think I'd be making a video on this game anytime soon, but quite frequently, the admin pawn has dropped one bombshell of a freaking update. Like I said, I'm nowhere near the required level to kind of explore these updates, unfortunately. I'm only level 13 as Killer Sam 43 white t <laughs> because, you know, once this game first came out, it was lacking a lot, a lot of content. Um, damn. Ooh, I like the snow. Wait, we have... Whoa, this is nice. I, I like I said, I've been out of the loop for Death Frontier 2 for such a long time, and Jesus Christ, this is this is scary. This is honestly, oof. All right, let's let's just do something here real quick. Hold up, watch watch this edit. So yeah, as you can tell, I can finally do that for Death Frontier 2. I wasn't able to do that in the beginning because, again, there was just not much going on. But with this whole new update coming out and the regional uh, changes and then the weather updates, it's just Death Frontier 2 has gotten quite a lot of updates since the first time I played it. So so yeah, hats off to you, Admin Pwn. You've been doing great, a really good job for a matter of fact. But yeah, unfortunately, those new areas that are level 50 plus, I can't really visit. For level 13, that's nearly impossible. But I don't know. Uh, you know, I'm willing to give Death Frontier 2 a shot. I don't know if you guys are willing to kind of watch it. There's not many players on it, but I don't know if you guys are interested. But, but yeah, leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. Do you want to see more Death Frontier 3 or more Death Frontier 2? I don't know. Let me know. So yeah, on to the updates, guys. I'm rambling on here for a minute. I'm sorry. I have a habit of doing that. But yeah, uh, let's go, Armando. Boom! So yeah, guys, like I said, I'm really late to the party. All right, this was updated in June 21st of this year. And it's currently still July 5th of this year, so I'm a little, little behind on it. But like I said, better late than never, right? <laughs> so, again, I just want to summarize this humongous, humongous list of updates. We're just going to focus on the main features, not really the little bugs fixed here and there. If you guys want to check that out, just go to the Different Tier 2 server and go to the Different Tier 2 announcements and read the little things that are currently also displayed on the bottom of this uh this post we're just gonna focus on the main things all right so yeah uh pretty much here it says it's been a long time coming different tier 2 level 50 update is finally here and it's a juicy one all right first thing is you can now reach level 50 and prestige level 10. as i said i'm not a humongous player different tier 2 i intend to play a bit more now and make a bit more interesting content just for the channel but yeah sorry getting off topic <laughs> there are four new bosses hysteric reaper creed and twins each with brand new mechanics so Hey, TMK, if you see in this video, hey, let me know if you ever want to be down for to, you know, upload a video or anybody that for, for that matter, whoever plays this game for the longest. I'm down to just record these new bosses. I might die in one shot. I'm only level 13, but I'm down just to record some funny clips. <laughs> Every zombie mutant in the game, including bosses, now has five new danger variations, each with its own unique mechanics, optic, spine, cystic, tentacle and scythe. Death Frontier 2 now has a proper storyline to uncover. So what this pretty much means is if you are a humongous looter, like I am, I love looting sometimes, not that much as before, but I still like looting more or less. Uh, you're pretty much going to be finding pieces of the lore of Death Frontier 2 that you can put together and you'll understand how all of this came to ha came to be in Death Frontier 2 world. So yeah, it's a pretty cool thing to look forward to if you're looting. And like I said, you have the off chance of just finding that extra little piece to continue the story. Also, rifles have been added with all the relevant stats and skills. Please make them look sexy. I love assault rifles. If you make them look sexy, trust me, I would just love to have an assault rifle just because it looks sexy. That's, that's just me. <laughs> 40, new, uh, well, yeah, 40 new weapons and two pieces of armor were added to the game. Yes, we needed armor. I'm not going to lie to you. I understand we have that iron skin skill, but armor just helps you survive a bit more, especially when new bosses coming out. It's such a plus. Such a plus. Uh, crafting system was added. Right now, there are nine items to craft, but this will be expanded over time. Yes, please. We need more items to craft, especially in a, a freaking zombie wasteland. 111 new unique items were added. You can now find rare food and drinks, which can be sold to certain NPCs, mission NPCs, for a lot of cash. So if you guys are desperate for money and you find these guys, 
just sell them to them. Uh, I mean, that's what this guy is saying here. Just sell the items to them and you'll make a nice chunk of change. There are now missions to kill bosses. Nice. Every account gets one free stat reset. You can now change the controls inside the game itself. So finally, some key bindings for this game. Because trust me, there's some key bindings that you really want to have in certain games to make your life easier. <laughs> and like I said, this is what you can also check out if you have time. You know, bug fixes, small improvements, blah, 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 blah. And a lot more down in the bottom, in the bottom of the uh, announcement. So yeah, just if you guys want to check that out. But we gotta, we have to change our character for the assault rifle because that's one of the huge major objects. So yeah, let's let, let's see how this went. Damn. <laughs> uh, thankfully though, we do have a lot of credits, so we can do that. Yeah, let's just let's just do this real quick, guys. That's that was that was embarrassing. Here's my new quick uh, skill tree. Like I said, don't, don't judge it too much. Also, just remember, I'm not that incredibly rich. I just realized I'm pretty broke in this game. I, I, I like I said, I don't play this game like I do, guys. I'm, I'm kind of crap at it. So, yeah, any weapon that I see here is not going to benefit me in any way. Because, like I said, I'm broke. I, I can't afford anything here. <laughs> Jesus Christ, 28,000? Yikes. Did I sell the other weapons? Please tell me I didn't. Let's see. Please tell me I didn't sell bullshit. Uh, Spirit Chesterfield, I think I sold my weapons, that's just, that's unfortunate. Alright, so we're going to try to go for level 50, I'm not going to last, I'm, I'm really, I'm not, I'm not seeing any type of way of lasting, I'm just going to die, but yeah, we're not going to make it far. So we're going all the way to a stable, like, like I said, I'm not, I don't think I'm going to make it, there's way too many infected here. <laughs> I'm not going to live long enough to see the end of the day. Uh, these guys are creepy. Oh, nice shots though. Better than a shotgun. Ooh, this gun still does damage. Nice, but it, it attracts a lot of attention, unfortunately. There you go. You see, I would love to play with you guys, but unfortunately, my aim really isn't that good anymore. Please spare me the details. Uh oh. I just keep running. Just keep running, freaking kids. I like how every gun here in, in Death Frontier 2 really isn't that crap. A few moments later. Yeah, the scorpion is like a little, like, little bell button. <laughs> I heard that shit. Oh, I cursed. Sorry. Didn't mean to. Didn't mean to curse. This thing is so ugly, bro. Oh, God. You guys really take hits, don't you? Where are the grenade launchers at? Woo! I killed one. I killed one. I feel so successful in life. What the hell? So if you shoot them, they blow up. That's cool. Uh oh. Gotta watch my back, you know. Oh god, where did you come from? Oh my god, you are ugly. And creepy, actually. Good job, man. I'm in pun on the design. It's about my accuracy is kind of garbage. As you can tell, it's not very recommended for you guys to come to level... Yeah, I gotta really level up, bro. Yo, oh, you think, Armando? Nope. I do not think, that's why I just do things. I think he died. Yo, I'm just shooting away. Man, that was a siren? Oh, I'd really be bone now. Can I easily... No. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> Alright, so I couldn't show much of the update, because unfortunately, I am only just level 13, which is unfortunate. It really is, but... Yeah, rifles right now, the M4s, I should probably cop one. Hold on. So right now, assault rifles are incredibly, with whenever the thing decides to load, come on, buddy. Oh, it really froze on me at this point. Really? There you go. Jesus Christ. Oh, crap. I didn't put some uh, <laughs> assault rifle. There you go. So assault rifles are cheap as hell. Because nobody can really buy them. The crossfire looks cool as hell. What the hell scream now. That looks tight. That must be a very rare weapon. I'm not too sure. Yeah, I'm kind of broke, guys, but uh, what I'm going to do right now is do this, all right? Because I know this is going to get really expensive in the, in the future. I'm going to buy me one of these. Yes, sir. And a rare M16. I don't know which one is better. I'm just going to buy them because I know for a damn well, once people start getting up to these high levels. Why don't I buy an M16 or whatever? But yeah, once people get up to these high, high levels, in other words, like people start getting more into the game... These are going to skyrocket. I I'm pretty sure they are because right now I tried buying a submachine gun and they're all pretty much expensive because people got to that stage in the game. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to put you beautiful weapons to stash. 
two stash and two stash so i'm gonna try my best to play this game whenever i have time or some free time available because i'm actually liking it i'm not gonna lie um i think the game has changed in a way where you know you can actually enjoy it now i mean i know what's killing the game mostly is the indoor looting which is just it is it's horrible it really is it's, it's bad but i'm pretty sure i'm gonna figure out a way to do better i mean i'm liking it jesus christ man what are you doing you scared the crap out of me sheesh but uh, yeah, like I said, I'm pretty sure I'm in pawn is figuring out a way to kind of just make the looting more fun and excited, which I think it is. He's doing a great job. I really am. He's putting a lot more effort into this, and I'm pretty sure the game, the player base is gonna rise eventually. Yeah, I just gotta, I just gotta play this game like crazy. So yeah, uh, that's it for the video, guys. I'm sorry I didn't get to show you the crazy infected. I'm too low level. I wish I would have played this game a little bit more from from back then. But oh well, we live and we learn. But yes, yeah, so I'm signing off. I'll see you guys on the next one. Take it easy. Bye. <laughs>